Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. Want to see my pumpkin patch? Well, let's go look around the yard. Okay guys, it's kind of a blustery autumn night. I hope the wind is not too loud in the microphone. As you can see, I have the gazebo all decked out with autumn leaves, burlap bows, and scarecrows. Let's go get a closer look. And my gazebo has been transformed into a pumpkin patch. <laughs> I've added my new pumpkin patch sign. And look here, Charlie Brown. It's the great pumpkin. <laughs> here at the front, I have a couple of yellow mums. And I have both faux and real pumpkins. Here are some smaller chrysanthemums. These are the old-fashioned variety. This is an old wagon that we found at a thrift store. Usually they're red, but this one was orange, so I thought it was perfect for my fall display. And I've got it filled up with some bales of wheat straw, and I've piled different color pumpkins. Can you tell which ones are real and which ones are faux? I'll give you a hint. This one is real, and so is the little gray one. <laughs> yeah. And that one way up at the top, it's real too. <laughs> but I like to mix the both. Guys, I was tickled to find these the other day. Uh, this is the old-fashioned variety that my grandmother and my mother used to have in our yard. In my part of the country, they're hard to come by. All the mums have gone to these little small variety that don't come back in our part of the country. This is the type I'm talking about here. These, you can plant them in the ground, but I guess our winters are too harsh and they don't come back. And I had asked the nursery just the other day about the old fashioned variety and they said they couldn't get them. But I was at Walmart and these are put out by Better Homes and Gardens and they had them. I got the yellow, but they had other colors as well. 
we had these at our home when I was a child. My mother had a strip of them at the end of our house, and every time my dad would mow the yard, he would cut the corner and cut the line shorter and shorter until finally they were gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna plant those in the yard. And hopefully they'll come back next year. And here at the very top, I have another yellow chrysanthemum. And up here on the poles, I've got my scarecrows. And my pumpkin patch sign. Swagged on the railings, I have burlap bows that tie up the leafy garlands. I've enjoyed this gazebo so much, guys. I bought it about 20 years ago. The Mennonites built it, and it was at our other home out in the country, and we moved here to the city. I wanted to take it with us, and so they came back in their little uh, white shirts with black suspenders and hats and put it on their conveyor belt truck and brought it to the new house. But I enjoy decorating it for all the seasons. This is my fall and autumn season. I really don't do a Halloween per se, but I leave this up until Thanksgiving. And after Thanksgiving, the day of uh, that evening, I'll start taking it apart and putting up the Christmas. I also decorate it for the Christmas holiday, for Easter, and even Valentine's. Oh, and of course, the 4th of July. <laughs> Let's go look at the front door. Not all my pumpkins are on the gazebo. I do have a few on the front door. <laughs> I made this wreath last year. I've got sunflowers, autumn leaves, hydrangeas. I've got lots of pumpkins in it, both large and small. And there's eucalyptus that I have preserved because if you don't spray it, it will drip. So be sure and spray it first. And on the topiaries, I've got some burlap bows. guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, wishing you a happy fall. Bye-bye now.